to fish foods that are available to consumers out on the market, one of my favorite yet totally underutilized foods is the pre-mixed gel and DIY and dough foods. And today that's what I'm going to talk about. They have a lot of benefits when it comes to helping to make sure your fish stay healthy. So one of the main benefits that comes with them is that you can use them to add medication to give directly to your fish. When you're making these, a lot of them, you can make them in their own individual sizes. You can make them in ultra small portions, which makes them great for adding medication to. By doing this, it might eliminate you having to medicate and treat a whole tank when you only need to treat one fish. Another benefit that comes with them is that you can customize most of them to fit your fish's specific tastes and needs. For example, the Dr. Tim's product we're going to talk about today allows you to add a whole bunch of different extras to the food. If you've got a cowfish like me who loves his nori but has a hard time getting some with all of the other fish in the tank, I can add some little bits of nori in that food just for him and make something special. Another benefit is when it comes to enrichment. Now, if you've seen any of my videos about the fish series, in all of them, I like to talk about ways to enrich your fish's life. And one of the ways that you can do that is through these gel, dough, and DIY foods. When you make them, a lot of them allow you to apply them directly to the corals and the rock work in your tank, as well as on the glass. Now, when I say corals, I'm not talking about putting them on the live corals. A lot of times you can actually get dead coral skeletons to put in the tank that allows you to mimic that natural wild feeding behavior of some of the fish species that you might keep in your tank. So I'm gonna get started. We're gonna talk about three different kinds of do-it-yourself foods. First off, we're gonna have two by New Life Spectrum. One of them is gonna be a gel, the other is gonna be a dough, and then we're gonna talk about Dr. Tim's Aquatics Beneficial Fish Food. Now, the dough food is gonna be one that you can keep in the refrigerator, and the gel food by New Life Spectrum, you can keep that in the refrigerator or the freezer. However, the Dr. Tim's food is one that you will put in the freezer. So, depending on how much space you have and the needs that you have, you can select what method is best for you. All right, let's get cooking. We're gonna get started with our New Life Spectrum foods. Now the gels, you make the same. You're gonna need boiling hot water for those, and the only difference in making the dough food is that the dough requires cold water. Go ahead and open your container. You might have to shake it around and sift it to get that little informational pamphlet out. Once you have that pamphlet, you can take it and set it aside for reference later. The first ingredient you're gonna need is water, so get a heat safe container and get some water. Next up, you're either gonna to wanna to boil it on the stove or put it in the microwave. Take your water out and set it next to your cook station. This recipe requires a ratio of one scoop of powder to three scoops of water. So go ahead and measure out however much you wanna make. In this example, I'm gonna use two scoops of powder to six scoops of water. Go ahead and add all of that water in together with the powder, making sure not to burn yourself. Once you have all of the water in there, go ahead and make sure that you incorporate the two so that the powder is mixed well. Now one thing that New Life Spectrum recommends is that you can use a fork or a spoon to mix this, but a whisk or an emulsion blender will work significantly better and have it set up much more of a gel texture. Okay, now that you have it all mixed up, go ahead and put it in the refrigerator and let it sit. Set a timer for 15 to 20 minutes. When it's up, go ahead and take it out. Now, as you can see, this set up a little bit wet. It's more the texture that you would get if you were to make the dough. If you want this to be thicker like a gel, go ahead and use an emulsion blender. When you're done, go ahead and cover it up you can keep it in the refrigerator for several days. Next up is the Dr. Tim's Aquatics Natural Beneficial Fish Food. They come in kits for freshwater and marine, and you can get these extras with built-in grinders to add some fun for your fish. Go ahead and open your kit, taking out the food, your stir stick, the bag, your recipe, and the silicone container. Your first ingredient is gonna be water, so add some to a heat-safe container 
and then either microwave it or heat it on the stove until it's boiling. You want to make sure that this water is really hot. Once your water is ready, bring it to your food prep station. At this stage, you're going to want a separate mixing container. I recommend one with a lip. Pour out half a cup of the boiling hot water into your mixing container. Next, you want to add that pouch of fish food into your hot water. At this stage, you'll want to add any of those extras, medications, or vitamins that you want to incorporate into the food. Stir it up, making sure that the powder and the liquid are all mixed well. Once it's mixed, go ahead and pour it into the silicone molds, trying to get it evenly dispersed throughout. If you don't fill all of the squares, don't worry, that's okay. Next, take your wooden stir stick and scrape from side to side and top to bottom. This will help to ensure that your cubes come out nice and evenly. Place in the freezer for two hours. When it's finished, go ahead and remove that tray of cubes. You can manipulate the tray back and forth, up and down, to loosen the cubes, and they should pop out fairly easily. Take all of those cubes, once you have them out of the container, and place them in that plastic bag that you were given in the kit. Remove all of the air and store in the freezer for several days. All right, now that you've seen how to make all of these gel dough and DIY foods, hopefully that's given you confidence and makes you want to try them in your home aquariums. Now, I'm curious, have you ever tried them before? Leave a comment, let me know which ones you've tried and how it worked out for you. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.